apple rose. You're really going to like this. It's very impressive. You're going to start off with a bright red apple. You're going to go ahead and core that out. Okay, now when you buy this, you want to go to the store, you want to get the reddest apple you can find. You're going to leave the skin on and you'll see why later. Once we've cored it, we're going to go ahead and cut it in half. Okay, now we're going to cut both ends off so we get behind that big radius on the end there. And we're going to go ahead and do slices of this. And you want to slice this paper thin. Just as thin as you can get it. You want to be able to almost see through these slices. Okay, you can see that knife going down through there. You can see right through them. Now, once you got those slices done, you're going to go ahead and take a bowl of water. You're going to cut a lemon in half. Squeeze the juice from half of that lemon into that bowl of water. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and put our apple slices in there. This is going to keep them from turning brown on us. Okay, that's what the lemon juice does. Now we're going to stick those in a microwave and we're going to put it on high for three minutes. What that's going to do is limber that apple up so it will roll for us and it won't break. Now what we got here is just a box of flaky pastry. Make sure it says flaky pastry on the box, not pie pastry or pie crust. We're going to take the sheet out, put a little board flour down, and we're going to roll it out. Make sure you roll those seams real good so that they go together. All right, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and take our knife and we're going to cut this into strips that are just about three inches wide, maybe just a little bit less. Now we're going to take one of our strips and we've got some sugar and cinnamon mix here and we've sprinkled it over that strip of that flaky pastry. We've dried off our apple slices with some paper towel and we're going to go ahead and lay those across the top of this flaky pastry strip so that they're sticking out. Okay, you don't want the, the opening where you cord the apple to stick above the top. You want that just below that edge. And you want to situate those so that the lead edge of that apple just covers up that opening where you cord the apple on the other piece. You get the idea here when you see how I lay these down. We're just going to go ahead and overlap those till we get to the end. Now if it doesn't come out perfect at the end, just cut the end of the pastry off. It won't hurt. It. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and take our pastry and we're going to fold it in half. What we want to do is encase these apple slices in between these two slices of pastry. Now just pat that down nice and flat. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more apple and uh, or cinnamon and sugar on top of that. Pat that into it so it doesn't fall off. We're going to roll it over. Make sure that we got some cinnamon and sugar on both sides of this. And we're going to take one end and we're going to roll it up. Just as simple as that. It's as easy as it can be and you won't believe the result. Now to cook this we're going to take a ramekin. It's just one of these little ceramic things. You want to butter it up and put some of that sugar and cinnamon in there. If you don't have a ramekin, just use a metal cupcake pan. It'll work fine. Okay, we preheated the gas side of our grill to 375 degrees. And we're going to place our two ramekins on the top shelf for 45 minutes. All done and ready to go. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you.